Hello, hello. If you are new here, hi, nice to meet you. How are you? Sorry about the horrible lighting situation. I'm vlogging with my vlog camera, so it's, you know. But nice to meet you. My name is Greta Luna Priego, and I am 23 years old, and I'm living and working in Paris, France. I thought that I would kind of make this video to explain why is a 23-year-old Latina girl like me living and working in Paris by herself, like why? Why are you doing that? I am here, I have been here for about four months now, which is absolutely insane, like it's passed so quickly, like I don't understand. But I've been here for about four months and I am teaching English in a primary school here in Paris. And I have about three or four-ish months left, so I'm about a little bit over the halfway mark. And I have experienced a lot of things I have learned a lot of things. I have met a lot of people and I have learned so much about myself. And I thought that I would kind of show you what an average day in my life at work looks like. So, you know, I thought I would bring you along, put you in my pocket, literally put you in my pocket. Put like my black camera in my pocket because it's like the perfect size and it literally fits in my pocket, which is great. So I thought I would bring you with me to work and kind of show you the ins and outs of what it's like to teach English in a foreign country. So in my case, obviously I'm teaching English in France, so I'm speaking French like 90% of the time. And I thought this would be an interesting vlog to film in case you're, you know, you're out of college like me and you're interested in doing something like this, living abroad, working abroad. And my French has gotten so much better but I really love my job. It's been amazing. This is not what I want to do for the rest of my life though. I don't want to go into teaching. I don't want to be a teacher. I don't want to go into education, but I thought this would be an amazing opportunity and it really has been. It's been really difficult, but it's also been really rewarding in like the craziest ways. Like I'm gonna come back a changed woman. I am a changed woman. I hope that you enjoy this vlog. I hope it's not boring or I don't know. I hope it's interesting. So let's go to work. Let's do this. <music> interrupt this video to present the trailer of the new film will greta make it to her train enjoy <laughs> Still walking and still walking. 
and happy afternoon happy afternoon oh my gosh this is what happens when i spend the whole day speaking french i forget how to speak english but good afternoon um it is lunch time and i actually just ate so there's a teacher's lounge and all the teachers eat there <sighs> hair in my mouth i just ate but i sometimes come out after eating because we have two full hours of lunch that's like a that's a fun fact about french schools uh most schools i think almost all of them have two hour lunch breaks and all of the students actually go home so all the students live like right next to the school so they all go and eat lunch at home which is like so nice and right now i'm gonna go for a walk actually i kind of am craving like a dessert because all i really had for dessert was a clementine and that doesn't really like satisfy my dessert cravings you know what i mean there's a supermarket really nearby so i'm walking over there and there's also a boulangerie which is where they sell like you know like sandwiches and like some some desserts and water and shiz oh the lighting's bad there we go all the teachers here actually dress extremely casually to the point that like i have never like i was so surprised when i saw how casually they dress like in the united states i feel like it's kind of expected for you to dress like i don't know like you can dress casually at school like i have some teachers that would wear jeans but still with the jeans they would still wear like a nice top or something not saying that they dress ugly it's just very casual like i have a teacher who dresses in sweats like she just wears sweats every single day and sneakers and like a in like a hoodie like that's literally her her attire but anyways i'm gonna go now get some dessert Miss. what do i want am i willing to make that much damage in my body i don't know i got the good so after lunch I have the little babies. I have the little kids. So they're called the CP, which is CP. And that's like primary school kids. So they're like the youngest six year olds. And they're so cute. And they're my favorite because they're so cute. They're always hugging me and they're obsessed with English and they're amazed that I'm not from France. And it's just so cute. So I have them. And then I end the day with the oldest kids again and then i'm done so i'm gonna go back to the teacher's lounge and eat my kit kats and i also downloaded all of the friends episodes on my ipad so i'm gonna be watching that i'm gonna be so sad when it's over oh my gosh this is my first time watching friends it's like it's unbelievable to many people that i have escaped it for so long what you look like after you've been waiting in the freezing cold for like an hour total for public transportation anyways i am walking home finally my day is over and i'm out of breath but i would say it was a very good day uh none of the kids were difficult everyone was really nice everyone was in a good mood i think because tomorrow's friday but luckily a sister doesn't work tomorrow so i don't have to go in i'm so happy i usually get home around like 6 or like 5 45 ish after waiting and taking the train and then taking the bus and then walking home but this isn't what i want to do with my life this is just kind of like a gap year thing a thing that i'm doing so that i get to travel and explore and speak french and meet new people and live somewhere new so if you're a post-college kid like i am and you have no idea what you want to do with your life girl or boy whoever's watching this don't fret 
it's really hard after college. No one really tells you that it can be really lonely and confusing and, oh, and depressing and you don't have your friends there like you used to and you're kind of in this weird stage where you're like, okay, well, I'm not in college anymore. I'm in the real world, but I still don't have, but I still have no idea what I'm doing. Don't feel as if that is your destination. Like they say, your current situation is not your destination. So as long as you keep moving, no matter how slowly you're moving, as long as you're moving, that's all that matters. And as long as you're trying out new things, even if it's like me, something that you know you don't wanna do, you know, I tried it out and I know, okay, I don't wanna be a teacher. I don't wanna go into education, even though I still enjoy the experience, but I just know I can't see myself doing this for the rest of my life. So, you know, I'm enjoying the current experience. I didn't give up on it even though I kind of almost did give up on it and almost went home and decided, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. But I just kind of looked at it as like, okay, this is a really cool experience. When am I ever going to live in France again? I don't know. And don't allow yourself to be defined by your current situation because that is not your destination, okay? And I am so out of breath. Oh my God. All right, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Adiós.